band, and I'm joined now by another local band. Let's see if I got this right. John, John, Kevin, Don, and Ken make up the Mondays. Yes, Welcome, so guys. How you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, now, where are you from? We're all from uh, Long Island. Okay. Yeah. And how did you meet? We met uh, on the internet, as most people do nowadays. MySpace, Craigslist. Craigslist, Craigslist. of course, where the possessed go to mingle. And now, <laughs> now how long ago was this? A couple years or? Uh, I'd say About April two. of 06, probably. Yeah, right. right and what did the ad say? Does anyone remember what the ad said? I wrote the ad and I couldn't tell you what it said. I think it said, <laughs> power pop band bent on superstardom needs it didn't say remaining that. members. No, it didn't say anything <laughs> like that. But, uh. <laughs> and that's all original? Did you guys share like common influences? Like when you first got together, we want to be like this, we want to be like that, or? I kind of <laughs> had the songs all laid out, the first 12 for the record. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, I got the guys together and we started working and we got it recorded after just a couple of months. And so then we have Storyteller. Uh, the name of the Mondays, not nothing like the Happy Mondays. No, no, no. no. Where'd you come up with the name? Different. Just I was. Um, well, the name originally the the band was Caridian uh, years ago, and uh, Paul Umbeck from Jive Records he uh, came in. <laughs> he came in and, and he said it's too complicated a name. So I spent four and a half months until I came up with that. <laughs> that uh, yeah. Wow. I saw a sign Sundays only, like out on Route 107 in Hicksville there. And, okay. Uh, I was like, Sundays, Mondays, yeah, so, you know, I checked to see if it was available and clipped it. So you mentioned Jive Records. Did you get a record deal with Jive Records? No, I work with one of the guys from Jive. Paul oh, okay. Beckman. Now, is that a goal to get a record deal? Because these days, it might not be the goal to be. You don't really need one yeah, today. We're not sure if that's, you know, nowadays it's, um, you can do a lot more yourself than you ever could. I mean, you could put together a record in your basement that'll blow away anything a big record studio could do 20 years ago. So, right. You know? it, it, they say that all you need a record company now for is like distribution or something. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you usually get like, digital distribution. But now point. it's like, do you really need that? I mean, yeah. if you have a website and people know about you, all they have to do is go to your website. And, and they want your soul. I mean, they want you to sign your soul over in exchange for, for that distribution. Yeah. So. Which right. is publishing rights. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's all about publishing. publishing. That's it. Right, the songs. Yeah. And now um, people like Live Nation are doing these record deals where, like, I think it was like Madonna and Jay-Z and U2, they, you know, and I'm surprised that record companies didn't do this a long time ago, where they take a percentage of your T-shirts and your concert tickets yeah. and your record sales and your downloads and your ringtones. But I guess if everyone knows all about that going into it, it's probably okay, right? You know, it used to be like people used to get ripped off. You hear all these stories, you know, they stole my publishing and things like that. But um, are you guys close to that? W w are you guys just touring a lot now and writing and recording? We're trying to, we, we, we put out a CD last, uh, actually in 06, that's done pretty well. Um, and we, we got enough material for another, another CD. We're trying to, you know, we're doing a few different things right now. The internet's been a great equalizer for everybody, where you yeah. can kind of reach people that. I mean, we, we sell MP3s in Holland and Belgium and all kinds of weird Isn't places. Isn't that cool, though? I it mean, really it is neat. Well. Yeah. It's neat. To get a 30 cent check from, like, you know, New Zealand, is, it's pretty cool, you know? But, uh, I mean, yeah, and hopefully you reach a point where, like, you know, you'll see these pockets of popularity maybe around the world. You, you kind of, like, book a tour around that, maybe. Yeah, we're trying. You know, you know, we're trying. We, um, we're regional right now. We try to get out there as much as you can, and you know, you try to build it little by little. It's um, it's difficult for 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 an indie band to kind of break through because, like you said, it's all the big the big companies have kind of locked things down where you can't you know you can't get on the radio nowadays unless you pay somebody. It's impossible. Yeah, well, I guess you could go the route of say like a Dave Matthews or whomever, or even. Uh, what was the other band? I guess it was like Hootie and the Blowfish, who I like to call Booty and the Hoefish. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they, uh, they, no one ever heard of them, and they sold all these records just from touring. Oh, they were rejected by everybody. Yeah. They wallpapered one of the rooms in all rejection lines. I mean, I don't go home and listen to them, but you know, God bless them for doing something like I that. I think yeah. the Carolinas, they had a big college following, and they, they sold 60,000 pieces on their own. Yeah. They did very yeah. well. And the record companies, that's what they want now. They want everything delivered on a silver platter, yep. instant yeah. hit, otherwise. Yeah, that's true. You, you can know. put Pro Tools on a laptop. And we want somebody to yeah. change what we're all about. Like, we like we like who we are. We like, well, except for Don, we don't like him very much. But we like who we are pretty much. And we don't want we don't want to change who we are and to, to conform to someone's idea of what a rock band's supposed to be. You know? Well, how would you classify your music? Uh, uh, basic pop. pop rock. Yeah, fun, <clears throat> fun music. Fun. The kind of music that you can hum to yourself while you're making a bologna sandwich. That's what we were on a bit. Yeah? We want well, to kind of on the sticks in your head. You know? Pop rock could be, uh, you know, the, the big E word, emo, but right. you're no, not that? No, that's not us. No. Okay. That's not us. We're, we're straight up, I mean, you know, if, we, if this was the 60s, we wouldn't be uh, the Beatles. We'd be the Monkeys. Right. You know, that's our thing. We're a lot of fun. You know, everything's very, very poppy, very up-tempo. And, and most uh, of us play our instruments, though. Most of us do. Three quarters so of us play on the pretty well. Yeah. So yeah. somebody That's occasionally will hit a keyboard and a tape will go off, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys brought something with you. What are we going to take a look at uh, This is a song uh, we recorded uh, for a website very recently called uh, 
anyone like me. It's uh, it's actually charted in uh, a few different states, and it's it's in a oh. movie now. It's in a movie actually, which is pretty cool, coming out called uh, Pretty in Red, which actually premieres uh, May next 9th. week. Yeah, May 9th. May 9th. Not Dollar Pretty in Pink, but Pretty, pretty in Red. Red. Pretty, pretty in Red. Pretty in Red. It's a very good movie. Uh, it's yeah. the Mondays. Take a look. I can't deny I never knew anyone like you. I can't believe what you've been through. And I know the way I've seen it all So far away And I like anyone, anyone like me Yeah, anyone like me I heard you talking on the phone Remember what you said I'd never felt all alone and I know the way I've seen it all so far away and I like anyone anyone like me yeah anyone like me oh anyone like me And those are the Mondays here on the director's chair. Uh, very cool video. Thanks for bringing that. And uh, really quick, where do you go? Where do people find out about the band? What's the is it a MySpace or a website? Uh, What's the both. site? www.themondays.com uh, is our main site, and then on the MySpace or MySpace.com, of course, uh, the Mondays worldwide. How about uh, gigs coming up? Say like in the next couple months. Do you have anything that you could uh, uh, yeah, plug actually, right uh, now? We're playing on uh, New York City, uh, Connolly's. Uh, Time, which is in Times Square, which is a really cool. Oh, spot. Connolly's on 40... 45th. 45th. 45th, right? 45th, okay. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. Times Square, it's a great spot and uh, great, a, really a fun place to be. You know, um, I hear people like festivals. to drink at Connolly's. No, call we, me we crazy. Have, but... We haven't found that actually. It's an Irish bar, so there's not yeah, a lot of that no. going on. <laughs> totally dry, right? <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for coming. And uh, really best of luck. It. Thank, thank you. The Mondays here. Thank we you. thank them for coming. Also, thank to Gano Grills, uh, great band left on.